it's going to be easier to fulfill the needs of uh, these very vulnerable people if we all work together. Although there's a great effort being made on the ground in the camp itself with uh, field kitchens, we have a little bit more control over our surroundings. Um, you'll see down here we've got eight burners, about 160 kilowatts of power. We have large bottles outside and it's all gas plumbed in so it's safe, powerful, and the 100 litre plus pot so we can have uh, 800 to 1,000 litres um, cooking at any one time. Um, food storage and equipment org organisation uh, are all key to um, the supply chain and uh, food getting out to as many people as possible. So, you know, we're already making a rota of chefs who wanted to come down. So all that's happening, you know, it's just now stepping into action. Tomorrow we'll be opening the kitchen and that's really exciting and as we've been talking more about you know, the work which started in the ashram, talking about it on social media, there's a lot more support coming in. There's still a lot more we need but it's really positive that that's all that's happening. So today is the first day of the kitchen, the refugee community kitchen being open. Today we are cooking for the volunteers in the warehouse, mainly because we want to make sure the kitchen is fully operational, making sure everything works. Uh, and then tomorrow, going forward, we will hope to then be feeding the people in the camps. The Ashram is one of the three kitchens on site, basically. We've got Ashram, Kelly Kitchen, and what we call the Belgium Kitchen. They keep doing what they're doing, and we're working together. So we, together, we've got a pool of volunteers, people who come and cook, people who come and help. We pool the vegetables and all the donations we get, so every kitchen has what it needs. And what we've done in the last two weeks with my team, we um, came out with four or five points in camp, where we, what we call distribution points, where we're going to distribute the food. Yeah.